Okay, we're going to look into what the attach all profile views um, actually does. Uh, we're going to do a complete federated workflow. We're in a DGN call name boundaries. I'm going to just attach the necessary uh, ingredients. In this case, just geometry of the IHL um, OG. Go quickly here, uh, open that up, fit the view, and basically this empty file has now um, the terrain referenced and some geometry. We're just going to um, set that active. I'm going to um, also then go to drawing productions and do some name boundaries uh, for plan and just arbitrary going to set some up. I'm going to do plan profile and that's probably one of the things too. When you, when you see this, you'll you understand what's going on. So um, in this file, I got that created. I'm just going to select the geometry, just go off the longer one, just place a few and um, I don't want to create drawings. I just accept that. And I want to get the uh, profile ones, and this is the key here, is with this profile view, I also want to create the corresponding name boundaries here. So I would just go to my um, name boundary tools again, go to my profile, select the plan profile profile, and I want it from plan group and use that. So just accept it, and you can see those are also created within in this file. So it's an empty DGN referencing the geometry and on the existing ground and I got the name boundaries just gonna save settings here I'm gonna make a new DGN now and basically I could have multiple people working on multiple sheet sets but I'm all want them to use the same name boundaries that I created so I'm gonna say uh, maintenance protection MPT plans sheets plan profile sheets whatever it may be it's just arbitrary here I'm gonna create it and let me change that to a 2d and just hit save and enter that DGN file. Okay, so first thing is obviously you need to know what you want to see in that DGN file. And I'm just obviously I need the geometry. I may want to see the existing ground, but I want to see those name boundaries, uh, a complete federation of that. So right now you can see that's referenced in, fit view, there they are. Now I could open up this. Uh, um, profile space in here and that would work but notice what's missing since th these profile name boundaries are in a separate DGN and I just referenced in the geometry I see it but I do not see the name boundaries I could make this active and I could try to attach a non index model in here but I will not see it if I select name boundaries and just go into interactive so you can see this um, that model is not exposed, the profile space model. That's a managed civil non index model. So the only way I could get that to show and have those um, boundaries show er, is hit the button that you're asking, attach all profile views. So it looks into the 2D space. It says, ah, I see the geometry, I see the name boundary, and that has a, a geometry profile space in there that matches up with that. Guess what I'm going to do? Automatically bring those in, attach that to reference because and bring those name boundaries in for you. So now you could cut sheets in a complete federated workflow, and that's what the all attach all profile views um, actually does. Remember that too with the 3D cuts and stuff of that nature, it will bring those spaces in. So you can put those 3D cut um, profiles into separate TGNs, reference them all together, and um, bring them into your profile sheets. So either in plan profile, or just if you're doing regular stacked profile sheets, um, this uh, methodology would work for you. Hope this helps out. Um, with what the attach all profile view tool actually does.